two federal government employees caught red-handed with classified materials. Think they're enjoying equal justice? Let's talk about that, because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So let's talk about a tale of two standards of justice. Two federal employees caught removing classified materials. One employee, Miss Asia Janae Laravello, was just sentenced to prison. The other is probably playing golf at Mar-a-Lago as we speak. Here is a Department of Justice press release issued today, February 11th. Asia Janae Laravello was just sentenced to three months in prison and a $5,500 fine for mishandling classified information. She's a Department of Defense DOD employee, and she removed and retained some classified documents while working as an executive assistant at the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command in Hawaii. And here are just some of the basics about what Ms. Laravello did. On March 20th, 2020, she removed some classified documents from the U.S. Embassy in Manila. She took them to her hotel room, she had a dinner party, and a co-worker discovered the documents, some of which were classified as secret. Not top secret, a lower level of security classification, secret, put a pin in that. Thereafter, a search warrant was executed on Ms. Laravello's workplace and additional classified materials were found, and these were secret and an even lower level of classification, confidential, again, no top secret documents. But after they were found, Ms. Laravello was prosecuted. In the Department of Justice press release, here is what United States Attorney for Hawaii, Claire Connors, said. Quote, government employees authorized to access classified information should face imprisonment if they misuse that authority in violation of criminal laws, as Ms. Laravello did in this case. Such breaches of national security are serious violations of criminal law, and we will pursue them. Now, let's compare and contrast what happened to Ms. Lara Vello as compared to Donald Trump. Here is some reporting from the Washington Post. Some Trump records taken to Mar-a-Lago clearly marked as classified, including documents at top secret level. That article begins, some of the White House documents Donald Trump improperly took to his Mar-a-Lago residence were clearly marked as classified, including documents at the top secret level, according to two people familiar with the matter. Okay, a couple of observations, friends. When the feds discovered that Ms. Lara Vello improperly removed some classified materials, they did precisely what law enforcement should do. They obtained and executed a search warrant and seized the evidence of crime. Let's compare and contrast how they handled the Donald Trump situation. In recent days, we've learned that Donald Trump's conduct likely violated three separate federal statutes. The Presidential Records Act, the prohibition against concealment, removal, or mutilation of public documents, and the unauthorized removal and retention of classified materials. So, of course, the FBI promptly obtained a search warrant to seize that evidence of Donald Trump's crimes, right? Not so much. Here's the reporting by Politico. The Washington Post reported that 15 boxes of documents and other items were not transferred 
to the National Archives, NARA, when Trump's term expired as required under the Presidential Records Act. The paper reported that the National Archives started negotiating with Trump's attorneys late last year and that the transfer was carried out in mid-January. So Miss Lara Vello has documents she's not supposed to have and the feds get a search warrant and seize the evidence of her crimes. Donald Trump has documents he's not supposed to have and the federal government spends months negotiating with Donald Trump's lawyers, asking them to please hand over the evidence of Donald Trump's crimes. It's a good thing he didn't have enough time to destroy some of the documents, make copies of others that he could use to blackmail people or compromise our national security. Okay, well, now that the feds have the evidence of Donald Trump's crimes, surely they're investigating those crimes. Here's some reporting from the Washington Post. The markings, the classified markings, were discovered by the National Archives, which last month arranged for the collection of 15 boxes of documents from the former president's Mar-a-Lago residence. Archive officials ask the Justice Department to look into the matter, matter is a nice word for crimes, to look into the matter, though as of Thursday afternoon, FBI agents had yet to review the materials. It remained unclear whether the Justice Department would launch a full-fledged investigation with the Justice Department debating on how to proceed. The Department of Justice is debating how to proceed? Didn't U.S. Attorney Connors just lay down the law in today's DOJ press release regarding how to proceed? Let's go back and review that, make sure we didn't miss something. Government employees authorized to access classified information should face imprisonment if they misuse that authority in violation of criminal laws, such breaches of national security are serious violations of criminal law and we will pursue them. Seems pretty clear on how to proceed. And remember, Miss Laravello had secret documents classified as secret. Donald Trump had top secret documents. You know, friends, I may just have to take tomorrow off to keep my head from exploding from all of the injustice. Nah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Please stay safe.